Hi uh, guys, back again guys, I'm back again, and I hope you, the name callers, like what I've done with my head. If not my hair, I like to have a philosophical discussion. You may remember a TV show called The Vikings, which had a character who was a blind shaman, a well-known YouTuber, psychologist, life coach, said that, that he thought that had something to do with suffering leading to insight. And I mean, I've been thinking about this more and more, that uh, insight leads to suffering, doesn't it? We codependents, we always have our guard a bit down. We autistics, sub-autistics, we also have our guard a bit down. Somebody catches us out. We're easily pleased. We are genuinely easily pleased. The new friend, the new gift, the new activity. What somebody tells us is worth it when it isn't. The excessive optimism, the reduced advantages, the thinking we've had it bad and so it's okay. The numerous things, I'm trying not to swear, that we put up with time and time again. The activities that we console ourselves with maybe healthy activities, but they're not really leading anywhere. The way we'll tell ourselves, I'll sort it out. The way we know they keep telling us we don't ask for enough help. Somehow we wouldn't be able to if we wanted to. Insight leads to suffering. Suffering leads to insight. And then what's, what's ahead? And then vice versa again. Suffering leads to more insight. Insight leads to more suffering. Will you beat it? Will we beat this dual suffering, contentment, insight, ignorance? Not nice being in a position where you have to ask for help. As will become most of uh, concern with old age and probably older age, regrets, but hopefully relief. Too much relief, maybe not too much relief. Get to that stage, cut your losses. Suffering led to insight, the insight. Didn't quite lead to, to as much suffering. <laughs> 